Sagasam seaweeds continue to be a nuisance in Grenada, despite millions of dollars spent to manage it. When questioned on government's efforts in dealing with the influx, which has now reached the carnage, Climate Resilience Minister Simon Steele confessed that it remains a challenge. Steele says they are presently considering other alternatives in addition to the measures currently used to ease the accumulation. We have developed an action plan um, for the management. It's management. We cannot stop the sargassum from, from coming. It is just using the uh, resources that we have to best effect to minimize the negative impacts. And, whether, and one of the elements of that action plan is looking at going beyond just the removal of the, the sargassum as it comes on shore, but looking at solutions that, can, uh, that could keep the sargassum as far offshore as possible and hoping that those tides, the currents, will, um, will, 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 uh, will, will take the sargassum away. Uh, so whether it is through the use of booms, barriers, nets, um, in order to do that. So research work is being done, um, working with other um, regional institutions, whether it's University of the West Indies, whether it's looking at what other islands, other countries are doing um, to, in, in this regard. Um, also, machines that can more effectively collect the sargassum. So Environmental wardens are engaged in some of the most sensitive areas. However, heavy equipment has proven to be not the best choice as they present other coastal concerns. Using manpower, woman power to, uh, to address it is the most environmentally sensitive way. We have used heavy equipment um, where the volume um, is so great that it's unmanageable to, um, to, to, to be handled manually, but that there is an environmental impact. It, it degrades the beach. So we have to use um, uh, manpower as much as possible to manage, and we have teams working up and down the country on that. Steele says they are also given consideration to utilizing a workboat as another viable means. In terms of equipment, we have an environmental workboat, which is it's dedicated to a project to manage the reeds at Granatang, but the uh, suppliers of that equipment were here in Grenada a couple of weeks ago looking at how it could be used potentially in limited circumstances um, offshore uh, for sargassum management. So we've been looking at, at that, but we're looking at other solutions and also working with the private sector who are also mobilizing uh, to find solutions to so how government can work with the private sector to come up with uh, mechanized solutions to address this. Christina John. GBN News.